going on everybody? Um, so some of you may be familiar with comicbook.com. They have a website, they also have a YouTube channel. Um, one of their contributors, Brandon Davis, who you may also be familiar with, had um, a chance to sit down with Aquam uh, Aquaman. <laughs> I'm still using their character names. Um, got a chance to sit down with Jason Momoa and Ray Fisher to ask them about um, their respective solo movies, the Cyborg solo movie and the Aquaman solo movie. Um, of course, since Aquaman comes out um, next year, at the end of next year, um, there's a lot more that can be said about it as far as um, what we can expect. Um, for the Cyborg movie, not as much because it's not expected until 2020. And um, so there's not really as much Ray Fisher could say about it as far as um, plot and, you know, stuff like that. So I just wanted to share with you guys um, what they were able to share about their movies. And of course, we know if you know Jason Momoa, he says like a lot more than he probably should. So if you don't want to know too much about the Aquaman movie, then you might not want to listen to the Aquaman part stuff but um i mean it's not spoilery it's just he says kind of a lot you know it didn't ruin anything for me in any way but just a heads up that he says quite a bit of stuff so um i'm going to read what he said and you can follow along on the screen um okay zach snyder brought me in momoa said he definitely wanted this outlaw josie wales he wanted someone that wasn't accepted in Atlantis, wasn't accepted on land. He was really this outsider and lived on the fringes of society. We talked about him just being raised with his father, this blue-collar worker. His father was a lighthouse keeper, but I probably worked on oil rigs. I'd be underwater and I could just rip off, rip the rig, rip the rig off and just wheel, uh, weld. Um... The Aquaman scene in Justice League is really just a weekend in his life, according to Momoa, as the true evolution of the character is to be seen. Um, he didn't say, that's not a quote, but that was included in what uh, we can expect. Um, and that was when I was alone, Momoa said. There's people that I would save, that I could save, and there's people that I couldn't. The human side of me is that heartbreak if he couldn't save someone. Not knowing what to do with these powers, he was a drinker. He just downed that emotion. He couldn't ever get that out. You're going to see that I really wanted him to be that gruff thing because he has to become king. If Justice League is like seeing him at his lowest, and not just his lowest, but this loneliness that I wanted about him. So when we get to Aquaman, you know when, uh, what, you know why he became that, and how he had put in that how he had been put in that lonely spot. And how he was going to bring these two worlds together because you're going to see this ocean world which we just pollute and how do these people feel underwater with what land does to the ocean and this war that is going on that is going to come between the two and i'm the only one that can link the two he has to do it he doesn't want to do it um they also mentioned that he described it as a combination of an origin an epic battle and a big road movie he says um in the story, we're going to see a couple different younger versions of me, and even before I was born. I found that interesting. So you'll know where my mother came from, Atlantis. Uh, we've got to establish seven different kingdoms and the threat. Uh, surpassing Justice League, this moment in time is his call to become king. The only thing that can save Atlantis is me fighting my own brother. There's a big battle. There's an epic fight. It's also a big road movie because we travel all over the world. It's got that Star Wars quality of gigantic ships and guys riding sharks. It's going to be this whole world you've never seen before. You're going to see him start as this guy who probably rides bikes, works on cars. You get to see him this one way as kind of a dirty, dark drunkard and then turn into this regal king. So, a lot to say, right? He said quite a bit about um, <clears throat> his, his solo movie. Which, like I said, since it comes out next year, they're already done filming. They just got to do post-production stuff now. Um, there's a lot more that can be said as far as, you know, um, his character in the movie and what kind of to expect. And like he said, Justice League is kind of just a taste of what his life is like. So obviously in Justice League, he's not king of Atlantis yet. And so according to what he said in this interview, it seems like we'll be able to see him kind of take on this evolution as a character, this transition into becoming king of Atlantis and 
why he is the way he is in Justice League, um, we'll kind of get a, a better idea of that in his movie, um, since it's his origin movie and stuff. I also liked what he was saying about get, getting to see a couple different younger versions of him because I was only expecting to see him as uh, the young kid that we've seen um, in like set pictures and stuff that's going to be playing him as a younger kid. But he mentions we'll also get to see, you know, before he was born and as well at, well, he says a couple different younger versions. So I'm guessing kind of maybe we'll get to see like a teenage kind of age for him, version of him, kind of like in Wonder Woman, how they had, uh, they had her as a little girl, and then they also showed her as, like, a teenager for, like, a brief time, but, um, so I thought that was, that was pretty cool, um, and so I also want to share with you what Ray Fisher had to say about the Cyborg movie, which, um, I think is exciting because a lot of people, um, since the Cyborg movie wasn't mentioned on any of the slates for this year, uh, at Comic-Cons, some people were kind of taking that to mean like, oh, they're not really going to do it. We're never going to see this movie happen. Um, it's, you know, up in the air. But according to, you know, what he says, we should we should be getting a cyborg movie. It seems more yes that, we'll be, that we will be getting a cyborg movie at some point eventually. Um, so this is what he said. He said that he couldn't, um, he couldn't share too many details, but he did share what he was able to. So they um, asked him if uh, he knows when he will be cyborg again, when he will reprise his role. And he says that, yes, I do know. I know the next film that I'll be cyborg on. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the cyborg movie. Okay, go get one. It's definitely possible and, and probably very likely that he will be in another movie before the cyborg movie. Because if it's not... Um, if it's not expected until 2020, you know, we're going to have other movies before that. So I'm expecting him to show up probably in the Flashpoint movie. Um, especially no! since, since they did confirm that it's going to be called Flashpoint. Um, whether it's going to be a Justice League movie or the Flash movie, we don't know. But, um, I'm expecting him to probably show up in that movie. It, that seems pretty like, it seems... Like, it, make, it would make sense for him to be in that movie. Um, and Wonder Woman was already confirmed for that movie, so I don't see why they would only have her and not other members. But um, he also said, things are in development. If I had my druthers, I think a cyborg standalone would be a slightly more intimate story. One of the things that I always think is interesting with these sort of universes is whenever there's a world-threatening crisis, it's always, it always makes you wonder where are the other members of the group? Why didn't they show up? I think finding an organic way to explain why these characters have to have their solo mission. Um, he said, Obviously, Aquaman, most of his stuff takes place underwater. If Superman were to go to the deepest reaches of space, not many people could go with him. Those kinds of things could happen, and it would make sense as to why the other heroes wouldn't be able to tag along. So basically saying that he would like the cyborg movie to be as standalone as possible. Sometimes people take that to mean as, oh, it's not connected to the rest of the sh cinematic universe, but that's not the case. Um, it just means that the other characters don't need to necessarily show up in his movie um, for it to be, for us to know that they exist in the same universe. Like he said, depending on these, like there's certain characters that their threat, their villain, whatever is happening in their movie, the crisis, whatever they're facing and need to defeat is sometimes can be more unique to their character, to their powers, what they're able to do. Just like he said, if, you know, Aquaman's the only one that can really survive underwater. I mean, Superman, yes, has the ability to like hold his breath for extended periods of time and Cyborg would probably be okay, but he's metal, so I don't know. But, you know, certain situations are unique to that character and don't necessarily need the other members of the group to be in their movie just because they exist in the same universe. And so um, it kind of falls in line with what Jeff Johns and Diane Nelson were saying um, a while back about moving forward, they want to try to keep their solo movies as, you know, independent as possible. That doesn't, and everyone took that to mean is they're not going to be connected to each other 
it's not going to be your shared universe which they it definitely is it's just that um each movie each solo story doesn't have to affect or connect to the other solo movies so i like that because it allows them more creative liberties they don't have to necessarily think about, oh, well, how's it gonna, how is Batman's movie gonna affect Aquaman's movie? And how is Cyborg's movie gonna affect Wonder Woman's movie? You know what I mean? So, and vice versa. Whatever, just, you know, giving you guys examples. Um, so I like that because it gives them the chances to explore, you know, a more, like a better variety of directions that they wanna go with these movies. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys and we are gonna get a Cyborg movie at some point, so exciting because like i said some people didn't think it was going to happen but it seems like it's going to and i'm betting that we're going to see him as cyborg before his movie so i don't think it's going to be i don't think it's not going to be until then that we don't see him i'm sure we'll see him before that so um as always guys check out the links in the description i still don't have the link yet to the second episode of the podcast but as soon as i do i will include it in whatever video comes around that time that i get it and um thank you to my viewers patreon subscribers all you guys and remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and thanks for bye. watching guys we'll see you next time bye, bye. go ahead and say bye, bye. say bye, bye. bye. okay <laughs> bye guys